What's up guys, this week I tried making this wallet for your money and your debit cards, gift cards and stuff like that. Just something that if you don't need a whole lot of stuff, it's kind of cool to have on you. Now, if uh, I would highly recommend getting a fatter rubber band for this and cutting out some notches. I talk about that later in the video. But uh, this is kind of just a fun idea. I was trying to think of something outside of the box. There's three simple steps to enter. Like, share, and comment all on this video. If you do that, you will be entered into the contest. And hopefully this is just a way I can try to help give back to you guys a little. I only have money to give away one t-shirt right now. Otherwise, I'd like to do two or three or something like that. But I'm only giving away one right now. So thank you guys for your support. Like, share, and comment all on this video. And you will be automatically submitted to win that t-shirt. And from there, I'll contact to on what size, color, etc, etc. The contest cutoff date is going to be ending next, we'll make it at um, Monday at 5 o'clock, I will pick a winner. So if you're not submitted by next Monday at 5 o'clock, I'm cutting it off and I'm picking a winner right at that time. And the way I'm going to pick it is I'm just going to go in the comments under the video, scroll up and down real quick, and whoever's uh, user I land on, will be, uh, I'll check, make sure they have it all, and if they get it, then I will contact them and say congratulations, you'll be, uh, I'll uh, tell you guys in next week's video on Tuesday, and uh, just something real simple and kind of fun to do. So uh, let's go ahead and start working on this wallet now. So I have this quarter inch poplar and basically I'm just going to take my MJR gift card because I don't, I'm not really too fond of the idea of showing you guys my debit card. So uh, I'm just going to leave it off the off there a little bit because I actually want to cut my own line. And I'm just going to go ahead and push this down and trace it out. So now I have two of these cards and I can go ahead and go to my scroll saw and start cutting these out. So it's a pretty easy thing to cut out. What I'm going to do is cut off all this extra material first and do the individual cards themselves. And if you want to do like, uh, like say you want to cut out a design on the inside, go ahead and do that now and put that all that template stuff on there. But I'm actually going to be doing some wood burning. So I'm going to wait till after I cut it out to make sure it's cut out how I need it. So now that I'm done sanding these, what I need to do is go ahead and I'm actually, I was originally going to wood burn the Red Wing logo on here, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use Steve Ramsey's um, inkjet printer version of flipping the image on here because I think it'd be cool if it was actual color and I, I don't know, I, I'm not quite good at wood burning yet, so that probably wouldn't be the best thing to try out. But uh, eventually I'll do some more, but right now I'm just going to do it, um, do the image flipping thing. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want more information on that to Steve's video. He does a great job of explaining it and he created the idea himself. So it's, it's a really cool uh, tr um, technique and I think it will look great on this wallet. <laughs> And that one I think came out a little bit better. So here's both of the pieces after I uh, put the, the finish on them. And it really, yeah, I think it did help bring it out a lot more. This one I kind of messed up on a little, but this one I think came out a lot better. 
but they both look good and it really helped pull the color out like I said. So unfortunately I missed putting it on, but I have something better. This Red Wing clip from last night, Tampa Bay, this is what we call getting cronwalled. Left ear screen. Now the question that they'll have, oh boy, he hit him in the head. Wow. Looked like the arm got him in the, in the face, and that's usually the kiss of death for a penalty or more. The question is. So I couldn't miss out on showing that clip somewhere in this video. So uh, go Red Wings. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the, uh, the uh, Velcro onto this and finish off this wallet. Okay, so my original idea was use Velcro and stick these all together. Then I just, I kind of made like a, a huge catastrophe out of it, kind of. It didn't really work out the way I was thinking. Velcro is probably not the way to go on this because it, uh, it takes up too much space and it covers everything up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. And I'm gonna show you guys my rubber band idea. I'll just jimmy rig it for now and I'll fix it later. Maybe when I can find a thicker rubber band, I'll probably order online or try a few other stores. But basically what it is, is you take your money and all that. Now this obviously isn't like a permanent wallet, but it's kind of just like something that's kind of fun to do. And uh, so you take your money, you can fold it in half is what I would do. And then like take your gift card or something like this. If you just need something real light, kind of want to show it off to your friends or something like that, put it all in, maybe make it a little bit wider. And uh, what it is, what I was saying about the rubber band is, you leave the rubber band on and it works as a clamp. So it pulls all this together. And I think, like next, I would make it, I would make it so that uh, this right here is notched out a little, this is notched out a little, so it's just that perfect place every time. Then if you need something, all you do is you just kind of pull it apart, grab it out, and then boom, clamps back down on the rest. But you need to find like, I want to find a thick rubber band, and um, probably a red one for this one, but uh, a thick rubber band I think would work best, and just when there's no money or anything in it, you have those notches. So it always comes, it's always just sitting like this perfectly. And it's not, it's not a nasty rubber band, obviously, but then when you want to put money in it or something, you can fold it however you want. This might work a little better. Take it, just open one end up, put it in, and uh, it's kind of like a money clip slash wallet thing. It's kind of cool, I guess. Just, I was trying to think of something different and kind of outside the box, but I really think a different rubber band could make this a whole different ball game. So doing Velcro is definitely not the way to go, but this basically gives you an idea of what you can do. If you don't want to do the inkjet photo transfer, just cut out a thing on your scroll saw or wood burn it or anything like that. These, these have potential to be really cool, guys. Um, just like I said, cut out the notches on it, get a, get like a thick rubber band, and I think it can look like, it can look pretty cool, I think. Something to show off to your friends or something like that. And then when you need it, you just pull it up, open it up, and it closes back on itself. The Velcro, definitely don't do that guys, I highly recommend against that. So if you like this idea and you're going to make one or something like that, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you guys so much again for the 10,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys next Tuesday with the new project.